improvement pill here. In our previous video, I went over the only feasible method that I know of for getting out of the rat race quickly. In that video, I mentioned that it's key to find asymmetrical bets, but I didn't go over exactly how to do this. So today I'm going to show you the steps that I follow when looking for these sorts of investments. Now, of course, a little disclaimer. I'm just some guy on the internet. This is not financial advice. This is simply a description of my personal thought process when it comes to finding investments to bet on. Please conduct your own research and speak with your personal financial advisor before doing anything with your money. With that being said, let's begin. The first thing I do when looking for asymmetrical bets, which again are bets that have limited downside with insane upsides, basically a bet that has a decent chance of paying out extraordinarily high gains, is to look for what are called contrarian narratives. Contrarian narratives are basically stories about the world that the large majority of people don't know about or don't believe in. I turn to two sources when looking for these unique stories. The first is the platform called RealVision.com, which is sort of like Netflix, but filled with interviews with some of the greatest investors in the world. Over there, there are dozens of videos being released every month by legendary investors talking about what narratives they are currently looking into. By watching those videos, I'm exposed to ideas that I would have never even known about had I just stuck to mainstream media. For example, I discovered that there is an entire market for uranium which is used to power nuclear power plants. I didn't even know you could invest in that. The second source that I turn to is Reddit, which is essentially a compilation of forums. There are many forums also known as subreddits like Wall Street Bets, investing, personal finance, and even cryptocurrency, which give you a wide range of perspectives when it comes to different narratives that exist in the world. Although the people here are mostly anonymous, it's still a great place to go to when hunting for contrarian narratives. Now once I discover a story that I find interesting, I will then check to see if it's popular. You see, in order for a bet to be contrarian, it can't be popular. That's the opposite of what contrarian means. I do this by using a free tool called Google Trends to see just how popular a particular phrase is around the world. All I have to do is type in the keyword for what I'm researching and look at the data. For example, last year in early 2020, I decided to look into the cryptocurrency Ethereum. I went to Google Trends and typed in the word Ethereum and I saw that the search volume around the world for it was only about 10% compared to its all-time high during the infamous 2017 bull run. This meant that the large majority of investors around the world were not looking at Ethereum as an investment in early 2020. The reason I do this is simple. I don't want to bet on something that's already at its peak level of popularity because that means that a large percentage of the gains have already been seen. You see, if I invested in Ethereum at $4,000 a couple of months ago, spring of 2021, where its peak popularity was at, sure, there was a chance that it would keep going up. But in order for me to double my money, it would have to go all the way up to $8,000. Now compare this to the summer of 2020, where Ethereum was only sitting at around $200. It wasn't popular at all during that period of time according to Google Trends. So in order for me to double my money, all it had to do was become a bit more popular again and reach $400. Ethereum became way more popular than that and climbed all the way to $4,000. Now I didn't time the peak perfectly, but I was still able to capture a good 15x on my initial investment. That's what I mean by extraordinary gains. Now, just because something is contrarian, just because there's a lot of potential for extraordinary gains does not mean that it's a good bet. The next thing I do is make sure that there is enough content to consume on any particular narrative before placing any bets because I need to get a clear idea of what the risks are. And this is why I usually don't bet big on smaller cryptocurrencies. They promise you the world, but there simply isn't enough information to figure out what the risks are. I like to go for things that have at least 20 hours of content to consume. And this has to be good content, not just comments on some random forum, but articles and videos from experienced investors that I know have a good track record debating both sides. I'm looking for content from smart people who think that the narrative won't come true and from those who think that it will come true. That way I can listen to both of their arguments and decide for myself what I think might happen. I usually turn to YouTube, Real Vision, Twitter, Medium, and Reddit when looking for content like this. Now once I find a potential investment that meets all of this criteria that I'm also interested in, I will then dive down the rabbit hole and binge research as much content as I can on the subject. 
Last year, when I dipped my toes into the crypto world, I consumed dozens of audiobooks, videos, and articles, adding up to over 100 hours of research. Now, there are two things that I make sure to ask myself while conducting my research. Number one, what has to happen for this narrative to become true? Number two, what has to happen for this narrative to be proven false? If I can't clearly answer both of these questions and be able to debate both sides, then I will not place a bet because it means that I don't have a clear understanding of the risk. Once I'm able to answer these two questions extensively, only then do I place my bet. Now, here are a couple of more things that I keep in mind when doing this. First, I remind myself that nothing is 100%, not even close, which means that there is always, and I mean always, a chance that I'm wrong, which is why I make sure to never ever bet more than I can afford to lose. I'll even imagine a scenario where my bet doesn't work out and ask myself, would I be okay in that situation with the amount of money I had just lost? Would my lifestyle be the same? If not, then I'm betting too much. The second thing I keep in mind is something that I've learned recently, which is to avoid betting on time. You see, for the past year, I've been playing with options where I'm essentially betting on two things, the direction something is going in and also the time frame of which it will happen. The problem is, it's incredibly hard to guess the time. I was right about a couple of things. Some of the narratives I bet on became true, but it simply took longer than I thought it would, and I lost a crap ton of money because of this. Had I just been patient and less greedy, if I only bet on the direction by simply buying and holding an asset or a stock, then I would have actually made a lot more money. This episode was brought to you by Audible. In order to become a better thinker, you need to open yourself to new ideas that people shrug off as crazy. And Audible is the perfect place for this. Audible allows you to consume contrary narratives on the go wherever you are. Just the other week, I took an eight-hour flight and I was able to listen to an audiobook the entire time. Audible is now giving members even more with the all-new Plus catalog. All members will have access to thousands of select audiobooks, podcasts, Audible originals, guided fitness and meditation programs, and much, much more. Go to www.audible.com forward slash improvement pill or text improvement pill to 500-500 to get one free audiobook, a 30-day free trial, and explore their Plus catalog today. On the plane, I listened to In Plain Sight by Ross Coulthart, which is an extremely contrarian new book, putting forth a very well done argument for the existence of UFOs. Yes, I know it sounds crazy, but it doesn't get more contrarian than this. Open up your mind, give the idea a shot, and dive in if you truly want to become a great thinker. Besides that, guys, stay tuned. <laughs> 